All right, it's time for two. So we're doing another Furby tier list. We'll start off with uh, this octopus. This one's a good one to start with. A C tier, it's nothing really special, but there is a little work gone into it. So altogether, pretty good, but nothing special. Cow. Honestly, it looks a little bit clunky. But there is a little bit of creativity going on in here. And for that alone, I'm going to give this one a B tier for Bow. Sure. This one, great. Looks like it was taken on a 90s photo, so this one's old. This was on one of those bear things. They cut off the ears to replace with a horn. Two mannequin hands. I'm not sure if they're sewn on or something. Um, rainbow, great. Beads, great. Necklace, great. Face, beautiful. That is a very great face. I can see that a lot of effort went into it. So I'm going to give this one an S tier because it still incites fear in me. This one, not much effort went into it. You can see that they just ripped it off with puppet, and the foot is. Eh, the faces, eh, it's all together, just eh, so, F for foot, I guess. This one, this one's gross, um, I feel like if I, when I'm sleeping, this thing is gonna crawl up from under my bed real slowly like a spider, and just crawl and interlock with my fingers while I sleep. So, yeah, that's very uncomfortable, and I'm scared. It also looks good, so S tier. This fire one looks great. I mean, look at the logs, look great. I love how they use the fur with the Furby face to really bind it all together into one. So I'm going to give this one an S tier just because it's not scary or anything, but it's truly a lot of work has gone into this. This one, it's eh, um, just an egg with feet, not even that big, well, it might be big, I'm not really sure the exact dimensions of this egg, but I'm going to give this one an E for egg. Beer, this one looks fine, um, I like how they use the outer rim to match with the, uh, the beer glass so that looks great um pretty sizable so that's another plus and i can see the ceiling of this weird room that they're in where are these taking place actually i know where they're taking place they're taking place somewhere in cincinnati according to their etsy page i'm going to give this on a b for beer this one this one's gross you go ghost hunting you walk into some astray room, you see this thing, slight breeze coming through, pushing it back and forth. You run out of there and, I don't know, cry or something. But besides that, fur really binds it together. So I'm going to give this one an S tier for fear. So, got to reposition that. Alright, next thing. This thing is great. I don't know where those legs came from. Um, this is truly the embodiment of a mimic from any game. Your choice, Terraria, Dark Souls. Uh, I don't know any more mimics from games. But um, altogether, great. You can see the wiring in the mouth. That's good. The tag's still on. Altogether, pretty good. Also, is that a Henry vacuum cleaner? Because that would mean this is in Britain, which means I would be safe. I'm going to slap this one S tier. This one, pretty good. Face placement, pretty good. Um, well, the claw wouldn't really be able to grab much. Still could cradle your T. So I'm going to give this one an A tier for 
usability outside of fear, I guess. This one. This one is perfect. There's two faces. One has hair on the top, and one is where the other one is staying. True hospitality and beauty. So I'm going to give this one an S tier. So now it's time for final thoughts. If I should change or reposition anything. Altogether, I feel like I could move this one up a bit. That foot one is still going to stay in F tier. But altogether, pretty good list. If the next episode of this gets, I don't know how much, I'll do another one if I find more. Alright, that's the end of the video. I hoped you enjoyed.